and welcome to the final episode of Dakar Daily. It's the last day of what has been just an incredible journey throughout this whole Dakar rally. Alex, today is a big one, a short loop from Cordoba to Cordoba, but a big one for so many of the competitors. The atmosphere down here is absolutely electric. It's like nothing else we've ever experienced. The Dakar Rally 2018 has been absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to all of our winners. Here is the highlights of this year's Dakar. 2018 Dakar Rally kicked off in style this year in Peru's capital, Lima. 335 competitors across five categories prepared to take on the biggest challenge in global motorsport. 2017's champion Sam Sunderland's domination at the start was brought to an abrupt end after a nasty back injury took him out in stage four, leaving the top spot clear for an ongoing and very tight battle between Benavides, Van Beveren, Vultner and Bereda. But it was the very consistent Austrian, Matthias Vultner, who shone through when an epic navigation fail lost his closest rivals valuable time. Still in control by the penultimate day, his focus was damage limitation. He opened the throttle on the final day and this formidable rider was unbeatable. KTM's Matthias Faulkner is the worthy 2018 Dakar champion. Absolutely incredible scenes, atmosphere down here at the finish line. The first Austrian to take part in the Dakar since Heinz Kindergarten. He has had such a journey, his fourth appearance in the Dakar, and finally he makes it. <laughs> I was quite nervous, especially yesterday it was a really, really long day and I know that the guys behind will, will push like hell, but in the end, yeah, it works everything really, really nice together and it's so amazing feeling and, and with KTM, with Red Bull and Austrian rider, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. It was a close four battle in the bikes. Here are your top 10 finishes in the category. As the cars left Lima and headed deep into the Peruvian desert, NASA Alatia dominated the early stages, but a series of punctures and a gearbox failure dropped him down the overall standings. and Peter Hansel jumped into the overall lead. Meanwhile, America's Bryce Menzies on only his first Dakar retired with this spectacular off. Safely out of Peru, Peter Hansel began the Bolivian stages, but on the run from La Paz to Uyuni, avoiding a stricken quad, he hit a rock, badly damaging the car. 90 minutes were lost in the repair. The Dakar is all about consistency, and Carlos Sainz found himself with over an hour's lead. The Spaniard cruised to his second Dakar victory. So there you go, after well over eight and a half, thousand kilometers this year on the Dakar. Carlos Sainz is our winner in the car category. The WRC legend has done it for the second time. After so many effort put it in that car, Peyo managed to win, uh, but I think uh, I deserve this victory and, you know, I'm so happy for the whole team as well, uh, for Lucas, for El everybody who support me. So 
at the end of the 2018 Dakar Rally, here are the top 10 outright results for the cars. In the trucks, last year's winner, Edouard Nikolaev in the Kamaz, was the man to watch. A good start for him, but not for teammate Irat Mardiv. He was on his side early on. As the 10-ton monsters made their way through Bolivia, Nikolaev looked set to dominate until stage 11 when he lost over 40 minutes to former WRC regular Federico Villagra. After stage 12, they were separated by just one second. A bad end to the rally for Villagra, though, saw Nikolaev take his second consecutive victory and 15th for Kamaz. Eleven SBS crews started 2018. Reynaldo Varela made a great start to his Dakar experience and by stage five moved into the lead of the general standings ahead of Juan Carlos Uribe and Patrick Garuste. By stage seven he had maintained his iron grip and the Can-Am driver was leading by 21 minutes. With five stage victories, Varela is a legitimate victor and is crowned a very worthy 2018 Dakar champion. In the quads, last year's winner Sergei Karyakin from Russia and Ignacio Casale arrived as fighting favourites and it was neck and neck until stage five when Karyakin came off the quad and broke his arm. That left Casale dominating the class to cruise to victory by over 90 minutes. So there you go, after two weeks of incredibly fierce competition, the 2018 Dakar Rally is over and it's been a brilliant one hasn't it? What's been your favourite moment? Oh my god, it's all been amazing. Uh, I think the other morning in Chilecito when I got up early, went to the start line and it was the mixed start so all of the legends were all together chatting and laughing and the, and the sunrise, it was, uh, yeah, how about you? Much the same for me when I went to the start line in San Juan de Marcona, there was you know, everybody starting in waves, all the bikes kind of motocross style. There was an incredible atmosphere. It was just a really wonderful thing yeah. to experience. And I think as well, it's fitting that uh, Carlos Sainz has won as Peugeot bring their Dakar campaign to an end. As do we, Red Bull TV have worked really hard to bring you the best coverage we absolutely can. We hope you've enjoyed it for the final time from Alex and myself. It's goodbye and we'll leave you with some of the best bits. It's going to be difficult, but uh, we'll wait and see what, uh, what it brings. We need to, to be strong, you know, all the way, and uh, we see what uh, the race uh, can decide. Every day can, can change everything, so just keep going and have focus day by day. Every rider then loves motorsport. Uh, must do the Dakar one time. You know, I have my, my, my strategy. I've been dreaming about racing Dakar since I first started racing. You know, a lot of emotions, a lot of intense feelings, nervous.
It's also worth noting. So I'll start again. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.